everybody welcome back to my channel my name is v so today's video is going to be split into five parts so the first part is going to be me sharing what language i've been learning and why i've been hiding it number two i'm going to tell you what grades i've been getting in that language lesson and how it's going and do i like it do i enjoy it then number three i'm going to tell you how i've actually been learning and what i've been doing to make sure i sustain learning the language and then number four i'm going to talk about what other classes i've been taking i'm also going to be doing my makeup all my makeup is right here and yeah i just want to embrace my natural self more and it's okay to have some bags under your eyes to have a few acne scars it's all good and i want to make sure i come on here and i show that more often so that's why i started the video with my natural self and now we're gonna get into doing the face <laughs> this is so funny okay i've never received more questions about anything than this language thing like every time i posted on my stories on instagram the comment section would just become what language what language why you hide and it was getting more and more aggressive the more i didn't say it the more aggressive they're like tell us what languages were becoming so the language that i've been learning is spanish and the thing is i thought you guys knew that because i've spoken about wanting to study spanish for so long i thought they would have guessed this first but then when i realized you didn't know i was like oh actually this works out quite well because i didn't want to share what classes i was actually doing this semester because let me tell you why i wanted to keep my subjects as secret as i could anyways because i know i gave a lot of them away i wanted to keep my subject secret because last semester someone messaged me being like oh you shared your semesters too late like I wanted to be in the same classes as you and now it's too late to register for the classes and I was like why would you want to register in my classes just because I'm in those classes do you know what I mean and then it happened again this semester a few people messaged being like can you share your um options for your classes so that we know what you're taking so we can take it too and I was like that's not how it's supposed to be like i want you guys to take lessons because you want to take those lessons not because i'm taking them so that was creepy like i didn't want anyone to actually come to my classes who just because i was there right then the second thing is some people were now going and like googling what professors i had and like judging their credibility and doing strange things with the information of what classes i was taking so i was just like this semester we've just got to keep that to ourselves i just don't know sometimes you don't know what people are going to do with the information you're giving and stuff like that the second reason is that i actually didn't want to feel any pressure like when i shared when i was coming back on youtube after taking a break i shared the fact that i'd been coding for a girls education development project and then someone was like no that's a lie you can't code you can't learn how to code that kind of document in that amount of time i researched this and then they went and like looked it up and started doing weird stuff and i'm just like ah that so it kind of puts me off even with um the future the upcoming future when i get my job i just feel like do i want to share what position and what company and what what i'm doing really because i feel like Will someone start digging into that and start doing strange things with it you know because it was a language i was learning i was worried that i'd then have pressure of someone being like she's lying she's not learning language you can't learn language that quickly i'm sure she can't speak spanish and she's saying this wrong and she's saying that wrong and i just thought to have peace the best way is just to not not say it you know another reason was that i just didn't want to be like demanded of like i just wanted to share it when i wanted to share it but then when people started telling me i had to say i was like no i don't like um you don't just because i decided to share some parts of my life doesn't mean i have to share everything if you know what i'm saying so when people were telling me i had to i was like no i don't like i am in control of what i put out and what you guys get to know i can pick and choose so what grades have i been getting in this spanish class i've actually been getting pretty good grades i'm proud of myself i'm actually very proud of myself they score it out of like a hundred each time um and like a hundred would be like an a plus i think um and then something like 87 or 85 would be like a b plus so i've been scoring like 94s 96s 98 sometimes i get 100 because 
you know, I love Spanish. Spanish is something that I really have been wanting to learn properly for ages. I did it at GCSE for like a little bit, then I completely forgot it and I've been wanting to relearn it for so long, if you guys remember me talking about that. So yeah, I've been really proud of myself. I've been getting those marks which are great and I think I'm hoping I get an A at the end of it. I think it could be a B plus but I'm really hoping I get an A because I've worked pretty hard on it. Number three is like how have the classes been? The classes have been really really good like the other classes that I'm taking which I'm sure I've shared with you before but just in case I haven't shared it I'm doing qualitative policy evaluation for beginners which was a mandatory class that I had to take but I'm really glad I have done because I've learned how to do qualitative research and evaluations and like work with a team of researchers with a group of participants and stuff and it's gone pretty pretty well so i've really really enjoyed that and then um another class that i'm taking is politics of um politics of government in africa and then the last class is educational educational innovation and social entrepreneurship which has been really good um that was also another mandatory class but i was going to take it anyways whether it was mandatory or not that class i've heard amazing reviews about so yeah and then the last class was spanish which i hadn't told you i'm sure a lot of you guessed i'm sure if you if you had to guess you would guess i was learning spanish right and the last part of the video is how do i plan on maintaining it so i plan on maintaining my language by doing what i've been doing to learn it in terms of i don't just go to class learn it and then leave the class and that's that like i also take it outside of the class by watching movies and the language like i've just been doing a few things behind the scenes just to try and make sure that the language is getting more and more locked in my mind i am very afraid of forgetting it i have a really bad tendency of like forgetting what i've learned pretty quickly so i'm really hoping that this sticks in my mind for a long time hopefully this is giving me the foundations that i needed to like feel confident in going to learn it i'm not any good it was beginner spanish like literally beginner's spanish yeah that's it that's pretty much everything and there we are we are done oh i do do a lip so i just put a brown lip liner underneath brown lip liner lip gloss and we're done this is the end result my face that i do every day i hope you guys understand why i didn't share what language i was learning and i'm glad i didn't because i feel like i had a more peaceful time without anyone asking me too many questions or asking me to prove things or having to prove myself so i'm going to take that approach forward in a lot of what i do next like with working or moving i'm just going to take it easy and just see how i feel as things go on and whatever i do next in life love you so much and thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video